The last and final map for Battlefield 2042 was finally here with it being Stadium. Now for those who don't know, this was originally already a part of an existing map, Hourglass, but they decided to take it away and make it its own focal point for a quote unquote new map, which we're going to talk about today. It's an infantry only map, so no vehicles whatsoever and can be played in Conquest, Breakthrough, Rush and Team Deathmatch. Off first glance, we can see they improved a few minor things in the stadium from before, like certain lightings and visuals. Within the map itself, there is a mix between open outdoor spaces, which we can see in A1, and a mix of close quarter combat areas, which we see in C1, D1, and E1. Instead of elevators, we now have zip lines scattered throughout different locations in the map, which to be honest, I actually like because it provides better pacing and navigation throughout the floors. No more having to wait for the elevator to come down and then you end up getting blasted because it took too long. There's also a lot of different entrances to choose from in order to ensure multiple routes to tackle any enemies that may be waiting for you on the inside. Quick mid video shout out to Gaming by Mars for finding last video's hidden character. For this one, there's going to be a character from Sonic hidden throughout the clips. Same rules apply. First to comment down below the name of that character with the correct timestamp gets a shout out on the next video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Let's get it. So what are my thoughts and review on this new map? Well, even though there is a whole bunch of cover inside the stadium, I feel like it's a bit too much. Like the interior is jam packed with a whole bunch of objects in your way that kind of make it hard for you to move around and also block your line of sight, which causes the interior to be a bit chaotic. Regarding the multiple entry points, I feel like it's a double-edged sword. On one hand, I like how there's different routes to go inside the stadium, but on the other hand, I feel like they overdid it because now it leaves a big room to flank 24 seven, giving you no room to breathe whatsoever. There's also a lot of smoke grenades and frags being spammed. So there's literally nowhere to turn with explosions coming from your left and your right. Meanwhile, you have to worry about not getting shot at or someone flanking from behind like I mentioned earlier. It's a lot, bro. So, And don't even get me started with the amount of shotguns that are being spammed since the interior space is so clustered. You turn the corner and get shotgun instantly. Like, it's wild. Lastly, I did notice there was a bunch of spawn trapping. No surprise there. So that for sure was annoying as well. In my opinion, they should have utilized more of the map and spread things out a bit more. Like, why are the spawn areas twice as big as the actual play area? Everything just feels mushed inside. Now, I do know there's a part of the community that likes this type of chaoticness of the game. So depending on your playing style, you're either going to love this map or hate it. Me personally, I like my chaoticness in small doses when it comes to a map. If it's too much, I get overwhelmed and can't enjoy the game because people just spam everything, which ends in me raging and getting off the game. So yeah, I'm actually glad it's infantry only to be honest, because having tanks in this map or planes would literally be a nightmare and make things 10 times worse. Not only that, but this would prevent people from trying to go on top of the stadium itself to try and snipe or camp for kills. And that's pretty much it guys quick, short and straight to the point video. Let me know what you guys think of the new map down below. Did you guys like the map? Did you guys hate it? Do you even care at this point? <laughs> Lastly, make sure to subscribe to the channel guys would really, really mean a lot trying to hit that 1k mark and actually trying to get that 600 sub mark since we're so close. So let's keep at it. But that's pretty much it for the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And like always, make sure to be back for the next one. Peace.